Perhaps you could teach us a new song. I don't know. It would be like teaching morons how to break acorns. But okay, follow me backstage and we'll hammer this out. Alright you dweeboids. If you want to get your audience attention, you need a good, strong falsetto voice and a strong backbeat. This is... Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! Hey, I'm me! On the table, Five Nights at Freddy's The Show Stage from McFarlane. Set number 12035, 314 pieces with three minifigures. On the back of the box, an image of the show stage with Bonnie front and center, then Freddy and Chica in the background. Join Freddy and the gang on stage for a party that you will never forget. Buildable set includes Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, the show stage, and arcade cabinet. Other sets available, we have seen The Office, Pirate Cove, and the backstage await as well. Inside the box, we have the show stage instruction booklet, a bag of bricks, another bag of bricks, a third bag of bricks, a fourth bag of bricks, a fifth bag of bricks, disassembled Bonnie, disassembled Chica, Assembled Freddy. Fancy pieces. Happy birthday flags and stickers. Let's get this party started.
It is the place where dreams are made of, the show stage. Talk about a complicated build. Thank you for that, McFarlane. On the surface, the construction set looks pretty simple. A stage, some back walls, a few doors, a video game. But in construction, it's quite the technical nightmare. I guess that's appropriate when you think about it. It sure does. I guess what made it so hard in building, and here's a couple tips. There are two different colors of gray brick. One gray brick a little darker, the other one a little lighter blue. The lighter color of brick makes up the bottom layer of the stage, whereas the darker layer of brick makes up for the top layer of the stage. However, when you're reading the instructions, they almost look exactly the same. So before you build, it might be a good idea to separate these two colors of bricks into piles and push the darker brick towards the back and work on these first. That way you don't get them confused. There also might be some confusion with the black flat brick on the stage here and the dark gray flat brick up top. They are also barely indistinguishable in the instructions. So make sure you take those black and gray flat pieces, place them in piles, and really watch closely where you're placing them. There's a few other spots where the pieces are very similar in color. So really pay attention to what you're building, because these pieces aren't like Lego. They do not pop back off pretty easily. You need really sharp teeth to pull it off. Another challenge I had was with these back doors. They open a certain direction according to the instructions and the box pictures. And to get those hinges on the right spot didn't always work. Try flipping the door frames around, things like that. And they should work out for you. They look great though. That's one of the things McFarlane does well with their toys. There's another level of realism that LEGO usually does not get to. You can see that in the gritty tile floors and the brick wall back here, which was pretty fun to build. The minifigures also appear very gritty and real. Hey, who are you calling gritty? So the most important thing about building this set is don't rush through it, take your time, and it can be a lot of fun. Interesting features with the stars and the little people shapes and the happy birthday flag up top made of a nice thick plastic. The Freddy video game was also fun to make. And you'll notice many of these things you can remove from the stage and place in different places. Oh God! Oh my goodness, sorry Freddy. Taking a closer look at these great minifigures, you have to build both Bonnie and Chica, and they can be a little tricky if you've never built one of these figures before. Luckily, Freddy comes with a set pre-built. A couple quick pointers, make sure the knees are pointing towards you, and when you place the legs onto the hips, you can tell there's a little bit of a circle indentation. Make sure that is facing inside. That way the leg kind of fits nice and snug. You'll also notice with the feet, you'll want the flat part to be on the inside of the leg. That way they can stand together and the rest of the fluffiness can stick on out. You can definitely see that with Chica's feet. They are surprisingly quite real and scary looking too. Can you place me back on my foot, please? Overall, this set turned out a lot of fun and is a really nice model representation of the Five Nights at Freddy's game. And of course, it scales really well with the smaller office playset. 
So as you pick up more of these, you can recreate Freddy's quite terrifyingly well. There's also some other stickers to decorate up your stage. For the moment, I am going to leave them off. I think it looks really good without them. Five Nights at Freddy's, the show stage from McFarlane, appears on store shelves fall 2016 and will run around $30. If you want a well-preserved, intricate representation of the Freddy's Restaurant stage, here's your chance. Just keep in mind they're professionals. Don't critique their music playing, because you might end up inside a video game machine. That's what I have to say about that. Terrible, terrible. Music. Ouch. Unhand me. Off. Beep boop beep I am in the video game machine now. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.